Hey, tonight, a new hockey show debuts in the Big 550 KTRS. Andy Strickland from Fox Sports Midwest, now a contributor here at the Big 550 KTRS, along with Jamal Mayers, is going to be broadcasting from OB Clark's. Good morning, Andy Strickland. Good morning to you, McGraw. How are you? How are you doing? Life is good. Did I'm you get married? No. What's that? Did you get married? I got. Where have you been now? This is old news. I've got two kids now, McGraw. We really? never go to school, by the way. <laughs> you, you've, been, you've been married and divorced. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> you have. You wait a minute. You, we live in a world where Andy Strickland is a father of two kids. Isn't that amazing? Holy mackerel! Anything's possible. She's a saint, that woman. She is. So uh, our, and our youngest, by the way, is eight weeks today. Oh, like, when do you oh. stop counting your kids in weeks? I'm curious. It's like they're puppies, you know. So she's eight weeks today, and my oldest daughter. And I say oldest with a loose term here. She's three years old. So I got a three-year-old and an eight-week-old, and they're both girls. Like, how did that happen to me? I live in a big sorority house is what I live in right now. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's not all bad. Yeah, all right. That's great, actually. Uh, Andy Strickland tonight, what, at 7 o'clock? 7 o'clock, OB Clark's be there. And we've been doing the show now for a few weeks, but I'm looking forward to it tonight on the big 550 KTRS. You know, rumor has it we may be going for a full two hours tonight, but we have a lot of fun. We break things down, obviously, get into a lot of the news around the NHL as well, not just with the St. Louis Blues, but happy uh, to be doing the show with Jamal Mayers, who played a long time in the NHL. You know, people may not realize that he played over 900 games in the National Hockey League and, of course, spent a good chunk of his career here in St. Louis and now is raising his family here in St. Louis as well post-career. So having a lot of fun with it and looking forward to tonight. All you need to know about Jamal Mayers is that he is a big supporter of Nurses for Newborns. There you go. Yes. So That says a lot about him right there. That's so exactly right. Another reason to come on out and uh, eat some pizza, have some great food from Jim and Joe O'Brien over there at Obie Clark's in Brentwood. Um, so uh, let's talk a little blues for a second. Yeah. Uh, I had Tom Stillman on the show yesterday. I asked him. He didn't say anything. What about all these trade rumors about this Buffalo Sabres goalie? Well, you know, there's a lot of rumors out there, put it that way. You know, whether or not it can happen remains to be seen. I mean, there's no question that Doug Armstrong is talking to general managers around the NHL. Of course, he's the Blues GM. But the reality is, for a trade for a goaltender like Ryan Miller, there are so many layers people probably don't realize are put together when you think about the compensation you're going to have to give up to get him, how much money he makes, how he fits into the salary cap. Plus, he's going to be an unrestricted free agent at the end of the season. Do you want to resign him? And are you going to give him the term and the money that he's looking for at the end of the year? And my sources tell me he's going to want a five- or six-year deal making the money that he's making right now, which is just north of $6 million. So you think about the compensation, plus lots of talk pre-Olympic break. Of course, he was a big story for Team USA in 2010. But would you want to make a deal of that magnitude before the Olympics, have to pay him before the Olympics, and then risk the possibility of injury at the Olympics? And then what happens? then you don't even have him. So, you know, Yarrow Halak kind of calmed down those rumors in the last few weeks. He didn't have his best game last night, but he's been playing so much better hockey as of late. So it's one of those things where you just have to sit back and wait. There's no question the Blues think they have a team that's built for the playoffs that can make a run come playoff time, and obviously you need a goaltender if that's going to happen. All right, Andy Strickland, we're short on time here, uh, and I forgot how long-winded you were. There you go. Uh, this thing is a short answer with me, by the way. Is this Ryan Miller really good? He's very good, and he's won a Vesna Trophy as the top goaltender in the NHL in his career. He's a little up there in age, by the way. He's 32, 33 years of age, so if you want to commit a five- or six-year contract, and also don't forget Jamal, or excuse me, I just called you Jamal. That's all don't right. Don't forget McGraw, yes. that the Blues have an up-and-coming goaltender who really saved the season for the Blues last season. He's playing in the American League right now by the name of Jake Allen. He's got a one-way contract next season, which means he'll be here, and the Blues believe he has number one potential. So do you want to bring in a guy like Ryan Miller, even on a rental, without giving him an opportunity to be a part of this comp uh, competition, talking about Jake Allen? Or, and do you want to sign him to a long-term contract and have Jake Allen sit behind him the next several years? There's so many different factors people probably don't talk about as much. But, again, don't forget about Jake Allen when you think about all this goaltending. He could factor into this competi uh, competition between now and the beginning of the It playoffs. really seems like Andy Strickland, and we have one minute here, and I'm sure you'll talk about this tonight. Um, it seems like for the last 15 years, the Blues, when they were good, they were one goalie away from making a really good run. It's been the story of the St. Louis Blues the last several years. I mean, 
I remember, you know, my first year covering the team in 99-2000, they won the President's Trophy, had the most points in the National Hockey League, and Roman Turk was their goaltender. Right. And they lost in the first round of the playoffs. But then Brent Johnson won a couple of series, you know, in his you know, short run here in St. Louis. So, again, I think that's where a lot of the rumors come from and some of the frustration. Blues fans are not only starving for, the, uh, for a Stanley Cup championship, they're starving for a goaltender. Well, you know what? You can get some of that food at Obie Clark's and uh, satisfy that hunger, at least tonight. Hockey Sense starts tonight on KTRS, 7 p.m. Andy Strickland from Fox Sports Midwest. Jamal Mayers from Nurses for Newborns. 7 p.m. tonight, Obie Clark's. I might swing by, Andy, and say hi. Please do. We'll be there till 9. You got it. Andy Strickland, uh, thanks for coming in, buddy. All right, thank you, bud. Take you care. got it. Andy Strickland, uh, I've known Andy for a long time. He's a good guy. Didn't know he got married, though. How time flies, huh? I wasn't even invited to the wedding. Well. It's outrageous. I wonder if he still has his girlfriend. Oh, you are so bad. Terrible. 9 o'clock, KTRS.